This conference will now be recorded. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another data science and vlog series by DexLab Analytics. My name is Nish, and I'm a data scientist and a senior consultant. Uh, in this video, we will talk about a beginner's guide to data science. Um, essentially, the use of the term data science is now becoming increasingly common. So what does it exactly mean? What skills do you need to become a data scientist? And what are the key differences, say, between business intelligence and data science? Essentially, some of the questions which will be answered in this video. Without further ado, let's get to it. So the first question that you should be asking yourself is, what is data science and why it is needed? Well, to give you the answer, Data science is a blend of various tools, algorithms, and machine learning principles with the goal to discover hidden patterns from within the raw data. How is it any different now from what, say, statisticians or even actuaries have been doing for years? Well, to answer this, um, consider a data analyst. Usually what they try to do is that they try to explain what is going on by processing the history of the data. On the other hand, a data scientist not only does the exploratory analysis to discover insights from data, but also uses various advanced machine learning algorithms to identify the occurrence of a particular event in the future. In this sense, a data scientist will look at the data from many different angles, and sometimes these angles will not be known prior to hand. Now, they should probe the question, that why is data science needed? Well, imagine that you could predict the exact consumer behavior, or that you can teach your car to drive by itself, or say you come up with some valuable insight about the market which only you have and you can corner the entire market through it. Well, it turns out all of this could be done and it's made, made possible by data science and essentially harnessing the power of big data. So now the next question that should come into your mind is what is the difference between business intelligence and data science? Well, essentially business intelligence analyzes the previous data to find insights to describe the business trends. Business intelligence also enables you to take data from external and internal sources where you can prepare it, run queries on it, and even create dashboards to answer questions like, say, uh, quarterly revenue analysis or business, any other type of business problem. Business intelligence essentially evaluates the impact of a certain event in the near future. Now, data science is a more forward-looking approach than this. Essentially, it is an exploratory way with the focus on analyzing the past or the current data and predicting the future outcomes with the aim of making informed decisions. Now, you should be asking yourself that what would be the prerequisites of data science? Well, this list is by no means exhaustive and it does take quite a lot you know, to be a data scientist. But essentially, if you have a solid grounding in statistics and mathematics, along with decent coding skills and a very strong analytical aptitude, combine that with some domain specific knowledge. And I would say that you're well on your way to becoming a data scientist. So a data scientist and what did they do in their day-to-day -day life? Well, I am one and let me tell you this from experience that majority of uh, a data scientist um, work will be to try and convert a business problem into an analytical problem. If you can do this, then um, you know you are well on your way of solving it. So um, I can explain you uh, in the form of sort of a simple um, case study, such um, that is 
quite recently I was trying to uh, solve for an optimization um, problem in which uh, I had to convert the business problem into an analytical one using the Lagrangian multiplier and once I was able to do it then the next step for me was to collect and uh, combine data from multiple different sources and then a lot of my time was spent on cleaning and doing the exploratory data analysis and then I had to do stuff such as feature engineering in which I had to keep the best predictive indicators as the features followed by model selection and assumption and then we do the usual which is the training and the testing of the model followed by monitoring the entire life cycle of that model well essentially you have to do this in sort of like a loop so it's wash rinse and repeat in terms of the scope and the future for a data scientist i would say the future is really bright well it has been estimated that by the end of 2020 there will be a huge gap in the market for the talent and the um essentially this is to say that what an actuary used to do for the insurance industry now a data scientists will do that for every different industry and it is very very difficult to automate this job um, unlike all the other jobs which are at a risk of automation right now so yeah I would say that would pretty much conclude this video and I really hope you got some value out of it if you did please do press the like button and click on subscribe that really helps the channel and um, i'll see you next time bye for now